Well, pay attention, boys and girls. This is very important. Make sure you listen to the end. On September 26, 2022, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan stated through his social media pages that it's necessary to sign a peace treaty with Azerbaijan. The peace treaty will be about mutual recognition of Azerbaijan's borders, essentially completely cutting off Artsakh from Armenia. Nikol Pashinyan states that this is necessary for peace in the region and there is no other alternative. What Pashinyan doesn't understand, or maybe he does and he's complicit, is that Aliyev, along with Turkey, won't stop in just nagorno karabakh They will keep coming and coming, kilometer by kilometer, until there is no Armenia left. The world, and especially aggressive countries like Azerbaijan and Turkey, don't respect any peace treaties. The only thing Aliyev and Erdogan understand are power and a strong military, along with actions. Nikol doesn't have the authority to give away any land and regardless if he signs or not, the Armenians of Artsakh won't leave their homes just because Pashinyan signed the piece of paper. However, what this will ultimately do is drive all peacekeepers out of the region, essentially leaving the Armenians of Artsakh completely isolated. This will leave the Armenians in the region two options, to leave their native lands immediately or to be subjected to torture, mutilation, and beheadings by the Azeri army. The Azeri army never stopped attacking Armenians in Arsakh regardless of signing the initial peace treaty which stated that both sides will end all hostilities immediately. Aliyev and Erdogan are bloodthirsty and drunk on power. Their drones and oil money have made them believe they're untouchable. Aliyev will only want more and more and he's already teaching the children of Azerbaijan through state-sponsored educational programs that the capital of Armenia, Yerevan, belongs to Azerbaijan, even though Azerbaijan is barely a hundred-year-old country. The state-sponsored hate towards Armenia being taught to the Azeri school children is something I've never seen before. It resembles Nazi Germany but in my opinion much worse. Aliyev and Erdogan want Armenia. They want all of it, not just Artsakh. The only way to protect Armenia is to 100% militarize. However, this is difficult to do without any proper leadership or weapons for our army. The United States has announced that they are considering selling weapons to Armenia. But this can be a long process which ultimately can lead to nothing. With these new American high-tech modern weapons, Armenia can better protect itself from its aggressive neighbors. Regardless if America arms Armenia or not, it must be done sooner than later as Aliyev and Erdogan are waiting on our borders to terrorize and steal Armenia. Azerbaijan likes to pretend like they have a mighty army, but they really don't. They have an army full of terrorists, and all they do is send drones. One Armenian soldier is worth 50 Azeri soldiers, and that's been proven on the battlefield. If Azerbaijan didn't have full support by a NATO superpower like Turkey, they would never even think about attacking Armenia. Turkey is directly involved in this war, but we're not here for what ifs. Two years ago on September 27, 2020, Azerbaijan along with Turkey launched a massive bloody war against the peaceful Armenian population of Artsakh and nagorno karabakh our heroic army handed the invading army thousands and thousands of losses. Unfortunately, the Armenian side also had over 5,000 martyrs. We remember them today and also remember that the 44-day war never ended. Make no mistake about it, Azerbaijan and Turkey won't rest until Armenia is annihilated. The fight for survival began in 1915 and it continues to this day.